Good morning, good morning, good morning, everyone. How's everyone? Namaste. <laughs> we love you all. How was everyone's week? Very good today. Good, 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 good. All right, who wants to kick us off in prayer? Anyone? Anyone? Uh, I do. All right, go for it. Okay. Thank you, Lord, for a beautiful yeah. day. And uh, we are all excited to learn a new um, a new topic. And uh, let's open our heart and our mind to receive it. Uh, and uh, thank you. Thank Amen. you. Amen. All right. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. That was awesome. All right, who has a praise report? We do, Pastor. Who said that? <laughs> Everyone should have a praise report just from yeah. waking up today that you all made to mm -hmm. create and deliberately what you want that you call your reality. Mm -hmm. You all are the creators of your reality. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So huh. last, last week we were saying that um, our friend, he was in a lot of sickness. He has been sick for like the past two or three weeks. He, and, and I remember you told us that uh, we bless him, tell him that it is not his fault, it's just the feeling of guilt and all those things. Uh -huh. so we did that. And so uh, just last Friday, two days ago, we visited him and he's like way, 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 way better. <laughs> Woohoo! That's what I'm talking about. <laughs> Too easy, yes? Yes. Too easy. And the beautiful thing is he had to believe in himself on what you were telling him about himself. Mm. Mm -hmm. Make sense? Yes. You couldn't tell him about you, you're fine. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he was feeling guilty about his uh, deceased wife, the family back in Philippines that according to her will, mm -hmm. he has to uh, send whatever services for, for the family at, uh, in the Philippines to, to receive. But mm -hmm. at that time, because of the, of the probate the, the the lawyers uh, so there was a delay and and he he he's in the pressure of they are keep asking and he keep have to tell them that the process is not done yet so that is maybe a part of being guilty is for not fulfilling it quickly uh -huh. right. but now it's all over and yeah. he also explained now that it seems like they never stop asking even though all are fulfilled Ah, <laughs> so so we told him. We told him they will keep asking until you stop giving. Yes, because Definitely. no matter what, you can tell them, "No, oh, I'm done giving." Okay, all is already fulfilled according to the to the will and everything. They yep. will still ask. Mm. All right, for sure, they will still ask until you stop giving them. That's because right. if they ask and you still give, they'll just ask again. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. And, and, and they'll try to make you feel guilty about it. Yes. That's right. the uh -huh. Very good. Very good. What a blessing. What a blessing. You 693CO. We'll figure out who it is. <laughs> Welcome, you 693CO. Who are you? <laughs> <laughs> Hey, little sis, how your, are you? Your sister. Yeah, I don't know. We're messing with you. Hello, Adrian. How are you? That code has some meaning? <laughs> yeah, she's playing with numbers now. She's playing with numbers. We taught, we taught her numbers a long time ago. So the other phone is broken, so I'm back and forth to using, you know, different numbers. So I'm a woman of many numbers right now. <laughs> Purposely playing yeah. with your numbers. <laughs> Story of your life. <laughs> Any other has a praise report before we start? So uh, this is not my praise report, but this is uh, Mama Rose. I, I met her, met up with her on Friday morning, mm -hmm. and she was thinking of her friend, mm -hmm. uh, Grace. You know, for a long time, she never see Grace. And guess what? When we were having breakfast, Grace, <laughs> what, uh, actually, Grace scooter in. <laughs> Grace scooter in. And 
she passed our table and, and then Mama Rose said, Grace. Oh. <laughs> oh, wow. How cool is that? <clears throat> and it didn't take so, long, did it? Yeah, that connect in their mind. <laughs> oh, yeah. We're one. We're all one. There's no separation. Uh -huh. So a man thinking in his heart, so is that man. We're like little radio mm, trend, we'll call it transceivers, because <clears throat> you transmit and receive. Mm. She transmitted a joyful thought about a great memory of a friend. Mm -hmm. And lo and behold, here comes that great friend. Same thing with Anson, who was in the mall, who was thinking of his friend, and all of a sudden, here comes that friend. <laughs> It doesn't take long to attract those. Now watch this. It also works the other way. Uh oh. Ah. Uh, <laughs> yeah. That's true. <laughs> so be careful what you think. This is why Christ taught, let this mind be in you. What type of mind did he have? He had the mind of God, which is the perfect mind of freedom. The Christ consciousness. This is why his message was all about love. That makes sense? Yes. A loving thought about a loving person and that loving person showed up. Simple. All right. Anyone else? <clears throat> All right. If not, we're on page 969. Great topic. Your brothers and sisters. Sinlessness. Uh -huh. Oh, we're going to stir up some stuff now, aren't we? <laughs> Question number one. <clears throat> what makes your brothers and sisters sinless? <laughs> ah, too easy, y'all. Y'all have been trained already. <laughs> the love of God, Pastor. Yes, the correct answer. The love of God. Well, because we also know that actually sin does not exist. Correct. Hmm. And if if people would ask the question, a simple question, what is the difference between sin and error? They would have to draw some type of line between the two. Yeah. Cancer. What is failure? <laughs> well, we already looked at what sin does versus error. Holy mm. Spirit can correct error, but they act as if Holy Spirit can't correct sin. Mm. And um, and then the thing is, everybody has to put a butt on unconditional love. God is unconditional love, so he cannot see sin. Mm. He already knows what you're going to do, when you're going to do it, and why you did it. Mm. We don't even know the numbers of the hairs on our body. So why would he look at something like that and give us free will and judge you according to free will? Doesn't make sense. Ah, question number two. Yeah. Why is your brothers and sisters sinless? Oh, we already gave you the answer. Same as yeah. them. <laughs> yes. Mm -hmm. Love all God. <laughs> well, we had a hard time coming up. One, we had a hard, we struggled. We'll be honest, we did. Because this is a good one. Question number three Can you reach heaven while a single sin still tempts you to remain in misery? No. No. Oh. You cannot. Cannot do it. So now it's interesting that when everybody goes to a funeral after they've cursed this person out, treated this person bad the whole time, they can do what? Say nice things at the funeral. <laughs> might, even share, might even share it too. Uh -huh. And then ask for forgiveness in their heart because they're too shy to admit. <laughs> now, now treated this person like dirt. Oh, they owed me money. They did me wrong. They did this to me. They did that to me. Da 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 da. Oh, bless. oh, they were just. They lived a wonderful life. They. <laughs> yes. yes. Mm. You see the conflict of the mind. <clears throat> mm -hmm. Because they they hadn't learned to forgive, which is part of the lesson that the master taught. Christ taught forgiveness. Uh -huh. Love and forgiveness go hand in hand. You cannot have one without the other. Yeah. So you can't say I forgive, but then hold them according to this. Mm. It doesn't work. <clears throat> kind of like a married couple and the husband does something that the wife doesn't do. And 10 years later, guess what the wife does? If she still holds on to it, bring that incident up. Or vice versa, husband holds it to the wife. Soon as she does something wrong, what does he do? Brings it up. Mm -hmm. 
as soon as the child does something, and we go all the way down the list. <clears throat> Correct? Yeah. Hello, God. Lily, how are you? <clears throat> I am <have> good. <clears throat> I need favor. Yes, you are, indeed. Any praise report? We're at the affirmation part. Oh, it's okay. Let's continue. All righty. Affirmation. My brothers and sisters are sinless. If we can see everyone in love and not according to their faults, according to our beliefs and perception about those beliefs, wouldn't we have a better world, especially if we knew their thoughts and they knew ours? Mm -hmm. We're all open books. Mm -hmm. couldn't, hold, couldn't hide any secrets from anybody. Couldn't think, ooh, he's fat. Ooh, he's ugly. Ooh, he stinks. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, how can I run out of here as quickly as I can because I can't stand this person's energy <laughs> imagine if everybody knew that thought the world wouldn't it be yeah. yes mm -hmm. the opposite of illusions is not disillusionment but truth and the truth to what set you free mm -hmm. Only to the ego to which truth is meaningless do they appear to be the only alternatives and different from each other. <clears throat> In truth, they're the same. Both bring the same amount of misery, though each one seems to be the way to lose the misery the other brings. This is why there is the phrase, misery loves what? Oh, Company. 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 <laughs> this is why birds of a feather flock together. So now if I wake up and I'm sick and all of a sudden I tell the wife how sick I am and then she tells somebody else how sick I am and then you come along and ask how sick I am. Now we have a whole sick party. Mm. And the reason why is because people are really good on trying to up one on each other. Mm. If I come with a cold, Melissa's going to come with a flu. And then if Melissa comes with a flu, Sudi has to come with pneumonia. And if Sudi comes with pneumonia, <laughs> mm. I have to come with the, with the, the oxygen machine strapped to my nose with a little canister rolling behind me. Mm. So we have to be careful of what we think and what we say, because those words and those thoughts affect everything around us, including the things in our body. Mm -hmm. You are, it's kind of like, you are what you eat, you are what you speak, you are what you think. Mm -hmm. This is why it is written in your Bibles, so a man thinking in his heart, so is that person. So if I think lowly of myself, everybody else is going to treat me low. Mm. Here's, here's the irony. If they're not in alignment with me and I think myself high, they're going to think I'm egotistic. Mm. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but those who are in alignment with me will find the truth and the violence and say, we are in alignment. So there is no separation between you and I. Mm. So now we encourage each other with our words and our thinking. Positive attracts positive. Mm. You don't see rich people hanging out with poor people. Yeah. You, you don't see your medical doctors hanging around with sick people. <laughs> mm. Yeah. Interesting, huh? Mm. Every illusion carries pain and suffering in the dark folds of the heavy garments of those who seek illusions covered and hidden from joy and truth, of truth. <clears throat> truth is the opposite of illusion because it offers joy man that is a powerful statement because so many people hide from the truth Won't but it's not necessarily though pastor not necessarily this mm. is just a general kind of a general blanket statement this is not applicable to everyone but if mm -hmm. you think about the people who don't accept the truth when you tell them you're not sick you're whole mm -hmm. i got 102 fever i feel this pain i have this cough I know what I feel physically in my body. But if you notice what the master Jesus said, he would never agree what they said. When they came to him about Lazarus being dead, what did he say? No, he's what? Sleeping. Sleeping. 
when they went to heal Jairus' daughter who died. Oh, if you would have came earlier, she wouldn't have died. She's not dead. She was sleeping. And then they went from mourning to scorning him. We know what dead look like. How dare you tell us she's sleeping. Girl ain't sleep. She ain't breathing. She turned different colors. And then when he brought her back, they went from what? Rejoicing. All in, watch this, all within a matter of, of minutes. Mourning, scorning, rejoicing is what you mostly get. This is why it also says in your Old Testament, my people destroyed for lack of knowledge. <clears throat> because they don't understand the power of the words. They could not understand <clears throat> sleep, death. When he came and said, I came to give you what? Eternal life, not eternal death. I came to give you life and much, much more of it. <clears throat> Does that make sense? Yeah. Leave one kind of misery and seek another is hardly an escape. Hmm. Let me talk about me. And this is nothing against those in my past, but I went from one relationship into a similar relationship that were almost the same in terms of the persons. And I had to look at me and not the persons and say, I attracted those persons. Mm. <clears throat> Hopefully that made sense. So I went from one prison to another prison. The old phrase, the old phrase, the grass is not always greener on the other side. <laughs> mm -hmm. So, so <clears throat> way, until we do change ourselves, we'll still be attracting the similar kind of people. No. When I changed who I wanted to attract, I attracted the wife, yes. the twin queen, the queen. Mm. You attract who you are. Mm. Yes, there are opposites within that, but there's similarity because that opposite helps the balance. It's the yin and the yang. Mm -hmm. Does that make sense? Yeah. Mm -hmm. To change illusions <clears throat> is to make no change. It would be like walking into your room and saying, I'm going to change all the furniture, turn the lights off, and go, yep, the room has changed. <laughs> yep. <laughs> Until you turn the lights on, it's still the same, yes? <laughs> yes. <laughs> the search for joy in misery is senseless. For how could joy be found in misery? All that is possible in the dark world of misery is to select some aspect out of it, seem them as different, and define the difference as joy. Mm. That makes sense? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yet to perceive a difference where none exists will surely fail to make a difference. Can someone read the next one? <clears throat> Illusions carry only guilt and suffering, sickness and death to their believers. The form in which they are accepted is irrelevant. No form of misery, <clears throat> reasons I can be confused with joy. Mm. Joy is eternal. You mm. can be sure indeed that any seeming happiness that does not last is really fear. Mm. Joy does not turn to sorrow, for the eternal cannot change. Mm -hmm. But sorrow can be turned to joy, mm. for time gives way to the eternal. Mm. Yes. Only the timeless must remain unchanged. But everything in time can change with time. Yet, if the change be real and not imagined, illusions must give way to truth and no, not to other dreams that are but equally unreal. This is no difference. Oh, thank you for that. Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. There was a lot of there was a lot packed into that, and I know we did it purposely. But think about it. No forms of misery or reason can be confused with joy. Mm -hmm. You can't serve two masters. You can't love one and help the other. Mm -hmm. mm. Yeah. He said something powerful we're going to hit on. Joy is what? Eternal. Eternal. The master said, I came to give you what? Eternal, Eternal life. life. Mm. Mm. If you want to look for joy, you have to look within and find joy within, not out. Yes. 
people look for joy in other people, places, and things. Yeah. And never within themselves or what makes them happy, mm -hmm. truly happy. Reason will tell you that the only way to escape from misery is to recognize it and go the other way. Truth is the same and misery the same, but they are different from each other in, the, in every way, in every instance, and without exception. Mm -hmm. To believe that one exception can exist is to confuse what is the same with what is different. One illusion cherished and defended against the truth makes all truth what? Meaning. Mm -hmm. <laughs> And you see it over and over and over and over and over. And all illusions real. <clears throat> Such is the power of belief. It cannot be compromised. It cannot compromise. And faith in innocence is faith in sin if the belief excludes one living and holds it out apart from its forgiveness. So the important one is we have to learn to forgive. Mm. Both reasons and the ego will tell you this, but what they make of it is not the same. The ego will assure you, know what it is impossible for you to see no guilt in anyone. And if this seeing is the only means by which escape from guilt can be attained, then the belief in sin must be eternal. Yet reason looks on this another way. For reason sees the source of an idea as what will make it either true or false. This must be so if the idea is like its source. Huh. If you look at religious people, look at the source of that religion. Then you'll see the ideology. You'll see how where in lies their faith, where lies the truth and the false. Mm. And it normally goes like this when we say true or false. Meet mine against yours. Mm my belief against your belief and because of that it's a separation so now if escape was from guilt hmm, how could they ever escape this must be so if the idea is like a source therefore say reason if escape from guilt was given to the holy spirit as his purpose and by one to whom nothing he wills can be impossible, the means for attainment are more than possible. In other words, when we give to the Holy Spirit, let's not go snatch it out of his hands because he didn't do it the way we wanted to do it. Or it turned out the way it turned out and we didn't like it. They must be there and you must have them. This is a crucial period in this course, for here the separation of you and the ego must be made complete. You got to draw the line. <clears throat> am I spirit or am I the ego? The ego is the one who lives in fear, who lives in judgment, who separates, who attacks. Does that make sense? Yes. For you have the means to let the Holy Spirit's purpose be accomplished, if we let them, they can be used. And through their use, you will gain faith in them. Yet, to the ego, this must be impossible, and no one undertakes to do what holds no hope of ever being done. You know what your creator, you know what you creator wills is possible, but what you may believe is it is not so. Now must you choose between yourself and an illusion of yourself, not both, but one. Hmm. There's no point in trying to avoid this one decision. It must be made. Faith and belief can fall to either side, but reason tells you misery lies only on one side and joy upon the other. Mm -hmm. Make sense? Yes. Mm -hmm. Think not your brothers or sisters. For you who are the same will not decide alone nor differently. Either you give each other life or death. Either you are each other's savior or their judge. Offering them a sanctuary or not at all. For it is wholly true or wholly false and cannot be partially believed. And you will either escape from misery entirely or not at all. 
Reason will tell you that there is no middle ground where you can pause uncertainty, waiting to choose between the joy of heaven and the misery of hell. Make sense? Not even 1% of misery? 0%. Zero. You, do you realize you cannot stand before God with 1% of, can't do it. You're either all in or you're not. Yeah. This is why it is written in the Bible. You cannot serve two masters. You either love one or hate the other. Mm -hmm. And people try to straddle the fence between the two. And then there's the confusion based on what they read, what they interpret, and then go out and function as, and then try to convince others about that. Mm -hmm. yeah. That's it. So the word, the sentence, joy is eternal meaning. We, we are, we have to be. I mean, we always have to be in joy, mm -hmm. right? In, in, yeah. Because joy is eternal. So, yeah. mm -hmm. but some sometimes you know, Pastor, um, you are having good time with yourself. You know, your high vibration, and uh -huh. then. You feel guilty when people are not. <laughs> no, you make yourself feel guilty. Yes. Yeah. Mm. Exactly. Exactly. I don't look at the homeless person and feel, let me say this carefully. I don't feel pity. I feel empathy. Mm. Mm. Difference. If I'm in joy, why would I let looking at something else take my joy? That makes no sense unless I, unless I believe that that I'm looking at is more powerful and I put more value into that belief than my joy. Okay, so when we, we, oh, we are in joy, mm -hmm. you know, uh, then we see that we have to see that in neutrality, right? Yes. This is what Master Jesus taught. He didn't say it in those words, but when he looked at everything, he looked at everything in neutral. This is why he didn't judge the woman at the well. He didn't judge the prostitute that they brought before him, that they wanted him to stone. Mm -hmm. he, didn't do, he didn't say that they were in sin. And people would debate the, the woman at the well because he did say go and sin no more, but he didn't mean it in that terms of how the church does it. He didn't judge her. He didn't condemn her. He didn't criticize her. He just says, hey, all these you have, the one you went ain't the one you, you with. She was baffled because they were not supposed to be talking because they were of two different cultures, two different tribes. He purposely sent the disciples away because of their mind wasn't ready to deal with that. So he sent them ahead and they had this whole conversation. If you ever read that story, about water and he says i'm the living water the eternal water he begins to express water but he starts off with give me a give me a drink of water and she goes why are you talking to me because you're of the jewish culture and i'm of this we're not supposed to be here but long story short they have this whole conversation about water and they never drink water but she understood joy eternal because what is your spirit eternal he says i came to give you what eternal life joy is eternal so you are joy mm. that is your nature mm. you can't be anything outside of that mm -hmm. when god looked at you and created you that was love peace joy mm. glory does that make sense yeah that, did that answer your question melissa yeah all right and to choose heaven, you are in hell and misery. There is no part of heaven you can take and weave into illusions, nor is there one illusion you can enter heaven with. A savior cannot be judged, be a judge, nor mercy condemnation. This is why you didn't see Jesus judge anybody. Does that make sense? Yes. The message he brought was love 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 your neighbors love yourselves love each other love your enemy Ooh, that's a hard bastard i gotta love my enemy yes mm -hmm. 
And when you realize from that place of unconditional love and neutrality, you don't have any enemies. You see them as, okay, this is their era. This is their thinking. I can meet people where they are based on their thinking because I used to think like a lot of them. Mm -hmm. But as you get enlightened, you awaken more. That makes sense? Yeah. A savior cannot be a judge, nor mercy, condemnation. A vision cannot damn, but only bless. Whose function is to save will save whose function is to save your job is to save who yourself first and those that will put you mm -hmm. how by being the light mm. how with the holy spirit will do it is beyond your understanding but when you be your choice but when but when must be your choice mm. for time you made and time you can command that makes sense this is why often when you all thought you were going to be late, you ended up when? On time. Yeah. This is often when you all say, oh, it feels like the day is dragging. Well, look what your words and your feelings and everybody else who you agreed with. And then all of a sudden, this day is flying by, this month is flying by, this year is flying by. And everybody you come encounter with are saying the same thing. Yeah. <laughs> You are no more a slave to time than the world you made. Let us look closer at the whole illusion that what you made has power to enslave its maker. This is the same belief that caused the separation. It is the meaningless idea that thoughts can leave the thinker's mind, be different from it and in opposition to it. If this was true, thoughts would not be the mind's extension, but its enemies. And here we see again another form of the same fundamental illusion we have seen many times before. Only if it were possible the Son of God could leave their father's mind, make themselves different and oppose his will, would it be possible that they, the self they made and all it made should be the master. Behold the great projection, but look on it with the decision that it must be healed and not with fear. Remember we told you that the projection, people project fear, Okay. Nothing you make has any power over you unless you still would be apart from God and with a will opposed to his will. For only if you would believe his son could be his enemy does it seem possible that you made is yours. You would condemn the Holy Spirit's joy to misery and make the Holy Spirit different. And all the misery you had made or you made has been your own. And all the misery you made has been your own. Hmm. Imagine when people start doing this. You caused me pain. <laughs> <laughs> you but, but, but the trick you does is pointing to them. <laughs> yeah. And then when you tell them that, oh, you're being a smart Alec. <laughs> <laughs> you're being facetious. And then they well, move we'll along. <laughs> mm -hmm. And are you not glad to learn it is not true? Is mm -hmm. it not welcome news to hear not of one illusion that you made replace tr the truth? Only your thoughts have been impossible. Salvation cannot be. It is impossible to look upon your Savior as your enemy and recognize them. Yet it is possible to recognize them for what they are if God would have it so. What God has given to your holy relationship is there. For what he gave the Holy Spirit to give to you, he gave. He doesn't give it to you, then take it back. Do you know you have, ooh, 1111, we thank you for upgrades, downloads, and activations. Do you know that you have all the power of God? How many know this? Yes or no? Yes. How many of you believe it now? Mm. That's a different yeah. one. Mm. Knowing and believing. Yes? Yes. This is why he said you are in what? Image and the likeness. Image and the likeness. What is the image? The image is spirit. The image is love. The likeness is love. The likeness is power. 
This was why when Melissa told the story about Mama Rose thinking about her friend, Melissa, how long did Mama Rose, if she told you, how long had it been since she had seen her friend? Uh, she said since October last year. Now, it's been a year, over a year, and all of a sudden, no resistance to thinking, Holy Spirit came in and gave you the power to attract the same likeness unto yourself. Yes? Mm. Yeah. Would you not look upon the Savior that has been given you? And would you not exchange in gratitude the function of an ex executioner you gave them for one that they have in truth? Receive of them what God has given them for you, not what you try to give yourself. Beyond the body that you interpose between you and your brothers and sister and shine in the golden light that reaches it from it formed the bright, endless circle that extends forever is your holy relationship, beloved of God himself. How still it rests in time and yet beyond immortal yet on earth. How great the power that lies in it. Time waits upon it. Ooh. Time waits upon its will. And earth will be as it would have it be. This is why you often hear us say, you can't change people and you can't do what? Change the world. That makes sense now? Yes. Here is no separate will nor the desire that anything be separate. Its will has no exceptions and what it wills is true. Every illusion brought to its forgiveness is gently overlooked and disappears. For at its center, Christ has been reborn to light his home with the vision that overlooks the world. Would you not have this holy home be yours as well? No misery is here. No pain is here. No sadness is here. No depression is here. No weakness is here. No confusion is here, but only joy. All you need do to dwell in quiet here with Christ is share his vision. What's his vision? For you to be intimate with the Father. Pretty simple. Think about what he said. I came to do what? Be the way. Came to give you eternal life, but I'm also the way shore. I'm showing you how to get back to God. Mm. He made a statement that everybody kind of took out of content. Nobody get to the Father except for me. But he was saying, I'm showing you how to get to the Father. Does that make sense? Yeah. Mm. Quickly and gladly is the Holy Spirit's vision given anyone who is but willing to see their brother and sister sinless. Mama Rose could not have attracted her friend if she just saw any type of judgment or sin in that person. Mm -hmm. Same as when Anson attracted his friend and many of you all. It's the same. And yes. no one can remain beyond this willingness if you would be released entirely from all effects of sin. Would you have partially forgiven your would you have partial forgiveness for yourself? Or would you have whole forgiveness of yourself? Mm -hmm. It's so easy to forgive yourself. Now, how about somebody else? But you know how many people don't forgive themselves and feel guilt and hold on to guilt? Mm -hmm. and go through sadness and different emotions? Mm -hmm. Because lack of love for self? Yeah. Mm. Can you reach heaven with a single sin still tempts you to remain in misery? No. Yeah. Heaven is the home. Heaven is the home. Where is heaven? It's part of your mind. It's not it's your mind. Don't look some, out. People, some people say it's your footstep. Well, if your footstep leads inward, then we would agree. But if your footstep leads outward, then we would disagree. Yeah. Every master told you to go what? Inward. In Mm -hmm. If I'm to go inward, where is heaven? Inward. Inside, yeah. Where, greater is he who is in me than he who is in the world. Who is in me? God. Mm -hmm. I can't be God and pastor. Mm -hmm. You can't be Sudi and God. Mm -hmm. Who are you? Imposters. 
<laughs> Living a double identity. <laughs> double, you're double spies. <laughs> Many people live double lives. Wake up and put on a different mask and leave the house and pretend to be happy when actually they're hurting inside. Yeah. Mm. And many commit suicide because of deaths and don't mm. seek help. And oftentimes we don't listen and hear the warning signs. Mm -hmm. And if you're not blessed enough to hear the warning signs, then you could be faced with a situation. This is why we have to forgive everybody and see everybody as love and show that love and be that love. Mm. Does that make sense? Yes. Heaven is the home of perfect purity and God created it for you. Look on your holy brother and sister, sinless as yourself, and let them lead you there. Mm. Powerful. Questions, yeah. comments, concern? Mm. Mm. All good. All good. All right. Who wants to press out of here then? I do, Pastor. Who said that? You do. I do. <laughs> All right, I can do that. <laughs> you, you caught me uh, pink handed. <laughs> oh, Source Creator, once again, we just thank you. We love you. We adore you for so much that you do for us. Just blessing us in this day to be in our right frame of mind, body, and spirit. Thank you for health and healing within our bodies. Thank you for that joy is eternal. And we are that joy that you give us that joy. You give us that peace. You give us the unconditional love and you lead it the way. We thank you as you lead us, as we lead this meeting into the path of righteousness, truth, love, wisdom, revelation, discernment, signs, wonders, and miracles. Bless over those that you put before us, new and old, that all we say and do is of you and not of ourselves. We thank you for all that you do for us. We thank you in your name we pray. Amen, amen, and amen. Amen. Oh, we love you, we love you, love you, love you, love you all. Say it back. <laughs> love you. I love you, love you, love you. I don't hear, I don't hear one person say it. Okay. Love you. All right. Love you. All right, there right, we go. We're getting the habit of saying it. It doesn't hurt to say it. It's okay. It's, it's a powerful <laughs> word. <laughs> all right you all have a blessed week prayerfully we will see you in the spirit and we will prayerfully see you tomorrow you all have a blessed week okay bye-bye thank bye. you bye you're welcome